just tell you exactly what we've got ingredients wise so in here this is just a saucepan um, and there is let me look at my ingredients list 250 grams of butter 200 grams of dark chocolate which is normally two bars of chocolate but be have a look at how many grams there are because they're all different sizes obviously and I've just broken it up into little pieces and then there is 250 millilitres of water so you put that all in a saucepan here I've got 280 grams of caster sugar another part of the recipe that isn't that great for you 65 millilitres of Baileys if you don't have the Baileys don't worry um, you can just miss that out or you can put milk in here just to make up the liquid of it um, what I've done before is put milk in and a tiny little bit of whiskey because that's part of what Baileys is you know um, but I've done it without the Baileys and it tastes just as nice and then I've got two lightly beaten eggs and then here there is 200 grams of flour 30 grams of cocoa and two teaspoons of baking powder. So that's all kind of sitting ready. And then I've just got one large bowl, which I'm gonna put that chocolate and butter mix into once it's melted. This is the chocolate that I use, chocolate patissier. The really nice thing about this recipe is you can make it as one big cake and then decorate it, which is like what I do for birthdays, or you can make it into little cupcakes. You just need to reduce the cooking time. So I might make two today. I bought these and they are disposable cake tins because I'm always looking for something that I can bake people a cake and give them it and not have to worry about getting you know your cake tin back and so we'll see how it goes I'll use one of these I'll maybe do two of these and see what it's like because they're going to be quite thin um, but that's okay and then if I've got mixture left I'll do some cuts so the first thing to do is just to melt all of this so I'm just going to turn on the hob and just melt all of this it's a really really simple recipe to, to make as well I should have said that in the in the beginning video it's just so simple and that's what I love about it it is really delicious it's unlike any other chocolate cake you've tasted I promise you it's it's nothing like a normal chocolate cake because of the real chocolate in it that then you know re-solidifies it just tastes so yummy but it's really really easy to make it's just a case of you melt this and then you add everything in and mix it together it's not one of these you know you don't have to whisk the eggs and crumble in butter or anything like that it really is just melt it and stir it <laughs> i'm going to heat the oven up while we're waiting for this to melt i put the oven on at 140 degrees celsius just so that that's nice nice and ready when we're ready we don't have to even stir this i just i really like stirring things So what you're left with is this beautiful chocolate sauce and I'm just going to pour it into this plastic bowl carefully, making sure to get all the chocolate from the bottom. And it does recommend that you leave it for a few minutes um, after it's been melted, but I have only done that the first time and I've tried it without doing that and it's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to add in all of the sugar and Baileys. that a mix. I like to give this a mix before adding in the eggs because it kind of cools it down a bit and you don't want cooked eggs. Okay then I'm going to add in the eggs. And then I'm going to add in the flour and cocoa powder etc. mixture nice and smooth and combined so I'm just going to whisk it I'm just using a hand whisk okay so I've got my cases here that's the mixture done I'm just going to spoon some into it probably pour it in the other thing you can do at this stage is you can leave this mixture with a tea towel over it to thicken up um, but again it's not uh, an essential stage but it's, it will thicken up a lot if you do that. And it just kind of makes it a bit easier to, to get into the cases. I could pour it, but that would be a bit messy, messier still. Could do with a bigger spoon though, couldn't I? I suppose because I'm normally doing little individual cakes, or I'm normally doing it in a big proper baking um, tin. 
with a paper case in it because I'm not giving it to anybody. You know, if they're having it here, then I would, I would just pour it in. I'm just gonna wait until it's kind of halfway up, I think. Maybe a little bit less than halfway because it does rise quite a bit. And then, you know what? I am gonna pour it into this other one and see how we get on. to this baking tray. Need a bigger baking tray. This is a very old baking tray, so excuse the state of it. That's better. Baking trays don't stay looking pristine for very long, do they? So that's those done, and there's still lots of mixture left, so I'm gonna make some cupcakes. And the great thing about that is, if the cake doesn't turn out, I've got cupcakes to give them. <laughs> any reason for the cupcake not to turn out the cake not to turn out even so I'm just going to put about two spoonfuls into each case and it's this is small cupcake cases they're more like fairy cakes so the oven is heated up so I am going to stick these two cakes in for let me see what did it say it says for 30 minutes so I'll stick them in for 30 minutes at 140 and see how we go um, but I'll do the timings exactly and put it in the description. Okay, for so you. that's the cakes out of the oven and they've only been in 20 minutes at 140. Actually, let me just check it is 140. No, it's actually it was higher than that, it was 180. 20 minutes, and I'll just test it with my knife and you can see it's coming out clean. So they are ready. So I'm just gonna leave those to cool. These are the cupcakes and they were in for, what were they in for? About 15 minutes. So the cupcakes are done as you can see but what I like to do is just do a little sprinkle of this is twist and sprinkle of ice and sugar and it just kind of makes them look a bit more finished because I don't want to put any toppings on the little the little cakes none of none of it needs a topping really but obviously because it's somebody's birthday I don't want to just do a chocolate cake that's what they look like and they taste absolutely delicious and like so they don't actually need a topping but I want to do something for the birthday cake, so I'm gonna put some of this chocolate fudge icing on the other cake once it's completely cooled down. And then I've got some little wafer daisies and I've got some chocolate sprinkles and some marshmallows. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put on it yet. I'll wait until it's cooled down. Okay, so for this cake, I'm just gonna decorate it and I'm gonna start off by using this Betty Crocker chocolate fudge icing. I, don't, I generally not, don't make my own icing just because I think this tastes beautiful. And like I said, I don't, um, feel like it necessarily needs icing it's just that it gives something to stick things to you know and because it's a a birthday treat it, and it certainly doesn't spoil the taste because it's delicious so I'm just using a knife to spread it on and it doesn't have to be too neat um, because it's I'm gonna put things on top of it and I don't want there to be too much like I said it's just really to as a, something to stick things to It on and then just sort of smooth it out with a knife. Don't lick the knife, Karen. Don't lick the knife. I might lick the knife. I'm not going to put marshmallows on. I'm actually just going to put these are just Asda chocolate flakes. I'm just going to put some of those on and maybe a couple of daisies in the middle. These are just paper daisies. I'm just going to put, put two, yeah, I'll put two, two in the middle like that. I've got another cake if I don't like this, if I decide I don't like the look of this. I just realised I need a bit more ice at the edge here. Just to finish it off, I'm going to use a bit of this um, ice and sugar again over the top. I just think it makes it, it sort of finishes it off nicely and makes it look pretty. And there you have the birthday cake. So I hope that she enjoys it. I'll just, I don't know how I'm going to leave it for. I think I'll put some cling film over it or something like that.